This is our annual open house and tomato uh, tasting for Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. We have a trial garden with tomatoes and peppers and occasionally eggplants and tomatillos. Oh my god, it's a tomato tasting. It's here, it's here at Acorn. Over 60 or 70 varieties planted here on the farm. And a whole bunch of them are ones that we're trialing for the first time and being like, or the second time in some cases, and being like, oh. Would we like to offer this one in the future? For example, they're very cool purple bumblebee. Look at that purple and green stripes. Very wow. cool. And then the related pink bumblebee, Whoa. which has red and yellow stripes. Are they made by the same breeder? Yeah. It's a guy out in California, if I remember right. Just so many tomatoes. Just so many tomatoes here. customers out for a couple of hours to tour the gardens and uh, take tomatoes. Yeah, so that's what's going on. Pull off a little piece, pass it on to somebody else. It's called bergamot. It's wild bergamot. It grows like a weed. Let's see, some lemon balm. We have lemon balm tea. We do carry seeds of it. I'm gonna pass around some apple mint. Mint doesn't come fully true from seed. And the mint that we sell tends a little more towards spearmint. Fennel. Uh, take a little piece of fennel, pass it on. save tomato seeds? Well, actually it's easy. So you take a ripe tomato and you scoop out the seeds. You can mush up the whole tomato and we tend to ferment them for a few days. You know the gel coat that you see around the seeds? Mm -hmm. That breaks that down and that gel coat inhibits germination. If you ferment it for a little bit, it makes your seeds germinate quick, more quickly. seeds are saved is because of the story that goes along with them and it's a story for each one that evokes a time and a place that may no longer exist but that was important to someone who you care about or that community that you feel like you're a part of. I got brain cancer. I was going to be in treatment and I had no idea what that was going to look like, but I thought it might involve being in bed a lot. Right at that time, a friend of mine recommended to Timber Press that I would be a good person to write this book. What it does is it's a down to earth, month by month, how to grow vegetables in the mild climate of the southeast. You know, often it means growing vegetables that you aren't used to. And there's how to build soil, and there's a little bit of seed saving, and... Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help us make more videos like this, you can head on over to our Patreon page and become a patron. There's a tier on Patreon for Southern Exposure where every season we'll send you a seasonal package of seeds, and if you sign up in the next month, in the month of September, we will send you a signed copy of Ira's book. It's really, really great. Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you next week for more videos about life in the community. <laughs> there you go. Can I film you signing the copy that you have right there? Well, well here's a copy and I'll give my wishes for an abundant har harvest. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, shoot, I hope this whole thing that you're doing works out well.